She's one of the most divisive politicians in Europe and a front runner in France's presidential election this spring. A key test for the future of the European Union against growing anti-establishment sentiment and a rejection of mainstream politics. So who is Marine Le Pen? She's the leader of France's far-right party, the National Front. She inherited the leadership in 2011 from her father, Jean-Marie Le Pen, who has described Nazi gas chambers as a, quote, detail of history. Since taking over, Ms. Le Pen has tried to reposition the party away from its extreme right-wing past to broaden its appeal to mainstream voters. Now, after the Brexit vote and Donald Trump's victory, Ms. Le Pen believes her time has come. Le Brexit était impossible. L'élection de Donald Trump était impossible, et pourtant ça s'est réalisé. L'élection, euh, mon élection à la présidence de la République est présentée depuis des mois comme impossible euh, au peuple de le rendre possible. So what does she stand for? Ms. Le Pen has strong anti-immigrant views, wants to strengthen France's borders, and focuses on fears of Islamic radicalism. She's called for an 80% reduction in immigration, but has softened the edges of the party's earlier rhetoric that immigration was a threat to French culture. Nous serons contraints de mettre un terme à l'immigration massive en France, parce que notre pays ne peut plus supporter ce poids financier important. Her critics say the National Front is still anchored in its xenophobic roots. Ms. Le Pen wants to beef up criteria that would permit people to legally enter France, but isn't interested in a travel ban à la Donald Trump. Je ne me sens pas l'obligation, euh, comme présidente de la République, d'accepter que des multirécidivistes, par exemple, reçoivent un visa pour venir euh, en France. Voilà. Ms. Le Pen has also said that French citizenship should be either inherited or merited, and wants to make it more difficult for people to become French citizens. Economically, Ms. Le Pen focuses on protectionism. Ce qu'a obtenu Donald Trump, le constructeur automobile Ford renonce à une délocalisation d'usine au Mexique au profit d'une unité de production aux États-Unis. Le protectionnisme fonctionne donc lorsqu'il est porté par une volonté et que le pays dispose de sa souveraineté économique. She also wants to reinstate France's national currency, which would likely unleash chaos across the eurozone. No country has ever attempted to leave the euro, and according to French polls, a majority of people don't support leaving the currency. The self-proclaimed Madame Frexit has also promised a referendum on EU membership. She's critical of NATO, and she wants closer ties with Russia. So, will she win? Most polls place Ms. Le Pen ahead of all other candidates in the first round of voting on April 23rd, but suggest she would lose in the runoff two weeks later, when one of the top two candidates must win at least 50% of the vote to become the next president. The other frontrunner had been conservative Francois Fillon, but a fraud investigation into his employment of his wife has hurt his chances. Ms. Le Pen also faces a criminal investigation into her alleged misuse of public funds. She has dismissed the allegations as an attempt to thwart the National Front. <laughs> the current favorite to challenge Ms. Le Pen in the final round is the charismatic, centrist, independent candidate Emmanuel Macron. Mr. Macron calls for unity and open-mindedness and says Ms. Le Pen would make France too isolationist. But even if Ms. Le Pen doesn't win in the runoff, it's likely she'll continue to challenge the government and influence policy, even if she doesn't have the top seat at the Elysee.